What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. It is officially Supreme Nudes launch week, which means it's a jam-packed week with tutorials using my brand new Supreme Nudes collection. I'm super excited about today's tutorial because I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways that you guys can go from day to night, from the office to the club, and ultimately resulting in this bronzy moment. I'm also gonna show you guys one of my favorite lipstick hacks using my new Silk Cream lipsticks. So if you guys want to learn how to achieve this beautiful, gorgeous look, if I do say so myself, then keep on watching. For this look today, I just kind of want to do something a little bit more wearable, a little bit more doable. This is kind of going to be like a two-part look. I'm going to show you guys something that's like super easy to do and wearable, like an everyday moment, like maybe you're running to the office or running errands, but then I'm going to also show you guys so you can kick it up with adding one shadow and it's just really going to transform your entire look. This is the star of the show. If you haven't seen it already, I don't know where you've been. I have my reveal video and another tutorial tutorial available on my channel right now as well. I will make sure to link them down below so that you guys can get all caught up because I want you guys to feel super good about this baby and the functionality and performance and how to use it. As you guys can see, I've already done most of my makeup off of camera. Again, I just want this to focus on the eyes and this palette and this collection. So for this look, I'm not really gonna use an eyeshadow base because I want the colors to just kind of look more like my skin, if that makes sense. Like I, I, it's kind of weird because sometimes I use an eyeshadow base, sometimes I don't. When I want colors to really pop or if I'm using colors that are a little bit darker, sometimes I will use an eyeshadow base. For this look in particular, I don't want to use an eyeshadow base because I want the colors to just look like they just blend to nothing, like they just blend onto my skin, if that makes sense. So that's kind of the vibe for this look. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe blending brush. This is a Morphe M535, it's just a really nice, fluffy blending brush. And we're gonna start off with this shade right in here called Nudist. And this shade in here, it's like a beautiful, almost like a soft, peachy, light, warm brown tone. It looks really, really light in the pan, but once you really start to kind of like buff it and work it into the eye, it just looks really beautiful. Every time I see this baby, I get so excited because it's like, ah, I can finally do like videos for you guys and show you guys how to use this baby because I'm just like so obsessed and so in love. Anyway, so we're gonna dip into the shade right in here, Miss Nudist. We're just gonna pick up a little bit of this shade right in here. And just like my Midnight Maven palette, the buttery, creamy mattes, literally a little goes a long way. Again, you don't have to sit there and like work your brush into the palette. Like it's just gonna really pick up the shade beautifully with very, very minimal effort. So just a little tip, you know, don't, don't go to town in the pan because you absolutely don't need to. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna start to buff this into my crease. Just like so. So if you picked up my Midnight Maven eyeshadow palette, you guys are familiar with my amazing matte formula. This is exactly the same. The formula is super rich, super creamy, blends like a dream. And you guys can see like I have no base on my eyelid and the color still lays down really, really nicely. Like it still has a really nice lay down power. And now that I've kind of applied this in my crease, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that same brush and I'm lightly just gonna start to work that color like right at the edge where it stops just to really make it look like it just kind of blends out and diffuses into nothing, which is the look that I want for this makeup. It's almost like tugging right where that color stops. Like I'm just literally kind of like tugging that color, really getting rid of like any harsh lines right in there. On days where I don't have like a lot of time to get ready, but I still want to look like I have a little something going on, this is one of those shades I can just throw in my crease and literally call it a day. You can curl your lashes and throw on some mascara. You can throw on the lash and it literally looks so beautiful. Your crease is nice and contoured and defined. It's not too much, easy to do, not too intimidating. So this is definitely something that you can do like on an everyday basis. All right, I'm feeling good about that. So we're gonna do the other side as well. I'm gonna kind of like make sure that I don't have any like oily lids. And again, it's so funny because when I do this, you guys know I'm like all up in the mirror. I kind of have to do like a little like Tetris like cross motion to really get in here. And to finish framing my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this little pencil brush. This is also from Morphe. This is the E36. I'm gonna pick up that same shade Transcend just slightly and we're just gonna smudge this underneath our lash line. And it's really up to you like how dramatic you wanna make this part. I always kind of like a little generous amount of under eye smoke. So I like to kind of get really close to the lash line and then just kind of like go to town right at the edge. Okay, so I love how this looks. Again, this is pretty wearable, 
Really easy to do, just two simple, easy shades. You can totally curl your lashes, throw on some lashes, and call it a day. I love how this looks. This is definitely something that I would just kind of just like wear out every single day. But if you guys want to kick it up just a little bit more, if you're going from like the office to the club or like day to night, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. One of my favorite shades in the palette, and it is also one of my favorite names in the palette, is this one right here, Miss Bronziana. You guys are going to have to do a little, you know, Tatiana moment in here, my little Bronziana moment. Um, but I really feel like this is one of the most perfect beautiful bronzy shades. And when I was developing this shade, I really kind of took my time because I wanted it to be like beautiful and milk chocolate and rich at the same time, but also just pack like a really nice punch. So it's a really beautiful metallic shade. It just melts onto the skin and onto your eyes. It's literally gonna transform this entire look just by literally adding it onto our eyelids, which is exactly what we're gonna do right now. To apply this shade all over my eyelids, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. and Nabella brush. This is from the collaboration that they did from the brush set, but I just love it because it's super nice and dense and it's like the perfect size not too small not too big not overwhelming onto the eyelid i'm going to pick it up onto this flat brush and then we're just going to run it all over our eyelids so i picked up that color onto this brush and i'm literally just going to sweep it across my eyelid staying really really close to my lash line at first i just really kind of want to start to build and saturate this color you can also apply the shade with your finger if you want I find that using a really nice dense brush really just kind of gets the job done, but you can totally use your finger, which I'll show you guys. Just like that, just gonna dip in here. You guys can see the shade, ooh, so good. So if you kind of want to cover more space or just kind of get it done a little faster, you can totally go into your finger. And if you have any fallout, you can just pick up like a dense brush with a little translucent powder and just dust her away. To frame my eyes, I'm gonna also line the inner waterline with a chocolatey brown liner. I just kinda wanna keep like the chocolatey vibes going. So I'm gonna use this liner from Marc Jacobs. It literally is one of my favorite liners. It's their highliners and this is in the shade brownie. So I always kinda like to warm it up in the back of my hand, just so that it has like a really nice slip. And we're just gonna run it in our lash line. So you guys can see by adding this like chocolatey brown liner, it just really does kick up the look. It gives it a nice little frame. But if you guys don't want to do that, if you think it's too much, you can definitely opt out or you can do something a little bit more like a nude liner to make your eyes look a little bit more bright and awake. And that's what I love about this palette and this look is that you can really kind of take it any which way. You can really build it to get the drama that you want or you can kind of keep it a little bit more soft and subtle. I'm just gonna go back in with that shade Transcend and just kind of smoke it out a little bit more. Okay, so I went ahead and I popped on some lashes off of camera. I did a little bit of mascara, and I also did a little bit of bottom mascara. And I feel like lashes and mascara really just kind of drive this look home. I'm obsessed with this. I think it looks so beautiful. Moving on, I'm gonna highlight my face. I'm gonna use a cult favorite, one of my favorite Diamond Glow powders, and that is Miss Illuminati. This has been our top selling Diamond Glow powder. Like the amount of this that we have sold is crazy. And if you guys have not experienced this for yourselves yet, you guys are totally missing out. It's one of the most beautiful universal Diamond Glow powders. It's such a gorgeous highlight. If you're a makeup artist, this literally looks incredible on all complexions, all skin tones. This is available at Sephora as well. So if you guys wanna like go to the stores, swatch it and experience it for yourself, I highly, highly, highly encourage that you guys do so. So the way that I like to use this is I like to just kind of work from the excess on the cap. A little does go a long way, so we're not gonna need too much. I'm just gonna spray myself a little tiny, tiny bit with my watermelon glow mist. You guys know I always like to kind of spray my face a little bit before I apply my glow. I just find that it just melts it like into the skin just a little bit better, so kind of like always my little trick that I do. And as always, I'm gonna go in with my AC03 tapered brush. This is such a beautiful highlighting brush. It's one of my favorites. And we are just gonna pick some of it up. And we're just gonna pick it up onto the tips of the brush just like so. And we're just gonna start to lightly just kinda run this across the cheeks. You guys can see like instantly, like it just, oh, it is just so, so beautiful. It just like melts into the skin. Literally just melts. I love this so much. You guys can see like very, very little effort and it just packs such a huge impact, which is exactly what I wanted for this product. And I feel like that's the number one thing that I hear when people tell me how much they love them or when people write reviews on our website or Sephora's website is like the impact that you get from these babies is like unlike any other. Ooh, you guys see that? Oh my God, it literally is just like 
so gorgeous like i never get over it and i never feel like my makeup is complete until i apply some glow it just really just transforms your entire entire look I'm gonna add some right up here you guys know i love it right above my brow close to my temples and we obviously can't forget about our nose so i'm just gonna highlight on the bridge I'm gonna snatch this baby up. That's like my favorite, that little button moment is literally like my favorite thing in life. And to complete my look, I'm gonna go in with my brand new Silk Cream Lipstick. I just love this little bullet so much. This is in the shade Power Play. This one is the one that I felt would complement this look the best. I kind of, again, still wanna keep it super, you know, bronzy and chocolatey and warm. I feel like it just really brings it all together, just really ties it all in. It kind of really gives me like a 90s vibe, if you will. With the tone, it's like one of my favorites. I get so many compliments when I wear this shade too. So now that I have this lipstick on, I wanted to give you guys a couple of options because I felt like the theme of this video is gonna be options. I'm someone that loves options, so I'm here to give them to you. With these lipsticks, what's really incredible is you have a lot of versatility with them. You can wear them as is and they kind of just look super hydrating, creamy, like a light sheen. They're so comfortable. It literally feels like you have nothing on your lips. Or I'm gonna show you guys a couple of other ways that you guys can wear them. If you kind of want to have a little bit more of a matte vibe, what I suggest you do is you guys can take a little bit of like tissue and I'm lightly just gonna blot like super super lightly like barely press it onto your lips just like so like a light little blot moment just like that and then I'm gonna actually take a little bit of a translucent powder the tiny tiny bit this is a Sephora brush this is the pro all-over shadow brush just in case you guys are wondering and I'm lightly just gonna kind of like press over the lip and you guys can see that it instantly like dulls like the creaminess and the shine and you do get more of like a matte velvety looking finish. This is just a little trick that I like to do. I also like to make sure I kind of get around like the lip line and I'm lightly just pressing it. You don't want to take too much product, just really, really lightly, a little goes a long way. And you guys can see you do get more of like a velvety looking texture. Again, super comfortable. It doesn't even feel like you have anything on your lips. It's definitely gonna feel just nice and lightweight. And again, you get that beautiful, beautiful color, but just like another version of the lipstick. Now, if you're someone like me that loves a super, super, super glossy lip, you can totally keep it as is. And then you can pair it with one of my favorite nude glosses like of all time. And I'm not just saying that because I created it, but it's, it's literally my favorite. It's super iconic. It's my Uncensored 2.0 Blush Pout Lip Gloss. This shade is so incredible. It's universal. It looks amazing on everyone and has like a really nice cooling agent. Super, super, super lightweight. I'm all about comfortability. So with my lipsticks, again, I meant for them to feel like you have nothing on your lips. These glosses feel exactly the same way. So if you do kind of want to go the other route and have like a super high shine, glossy lip, you can definitely coat your lips with this, which is what I'm going to do now. And it's just going to bring back that nice latex shine onto the lips. Mm, this feels so good, you guys. The little minty cooling sensation is just like so, so good. And when we were working through these, I was a little concerned because I'm like, oh, like what if people aren't, aren't into it or they don't like it? And I find that it's like one of the main reasons why people love this gloss. It's just like a really nice, fresh, cool sensation. It's like literally unlike anything else. And there you have it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this version of the lip on because I love the tone, I love the shade, and I love how glossy and high shine it looks. Let me know in the comments below which version of the lipstick you prefer. Do you like it as is? Do you guys kinda like more of like the velvety texture? Do you guys like more of like the high shine texture? I really hope this little like lipstick trick helped you guys because it's something that I've been doing for the longest time. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm here to share my, my knowledge with you guys to really, you know, make you guys feel like you guys are pros at home. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Look, I love it so much. I'm kind of sad that I'm actually gonna like take it off as soon as I'm done filming and no one's gonna really like see me in this makeup look. I think it is so perfect and so easy to do. If you guys liked it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't be shady. Be a lady, subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss a beat or a tutorial. Do not forget the Supreme Nudes collection launches this Friday, March 20th.
Oh my God, I can't believe it's like around the corner. At 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on artistcouture.com and it will also be available in Sephora stores and Sephora.com on March 27th. I'm super excited for you guys to finally get this collection in your hands. Let me know what other looks you guys would like to see using this palette, what you guys are most excited about for this collection. And yeah, I cannot wait to read through the comments and chat with you guys. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys. Thank you.